With a simple link 2D I expression, you can connect uh, some 2D value to one other 2D value. And so one example for this are position values. Yeah, they con this consist of this X and Y position. And we now want to connect the position of this layer here, world.com, to the position of this layer. And this layer is already keyframed in its movement, uh, like this, just with two easy ease keyframes. And now we want this one to connect to it. And this is very easy. We just select the position to which it should connect and link it here and then we go to our position and apply and you can see it directly jumps there and it directly follows this value this is now of course only the case because the two anchor points are exactly at the same position yeah so this layer has its anchor point here and this layer has its anchor point also exactly here so if you change the anchor point anchor point and move it, for example, up and down. You can see it still moves accordingly, but with this offset. Yeah. So this is something you can do with the anchor point. Um, another thing I want to show you are now some advanced options of this link. So when you go here, and this is nothing special for the linear link 2D, but something you can have in any link in I expressions. Yeah. First thing you can do is you can have an offset. So if you do not want to set the offset with the help of the anchor point, you can also do it here, saying for example an x offset of 20. If I apply this again to the p position of this here, uh, you can see it is shifted by 20 and just stays shifted like this over the entire time. Um, let me just enable now auto apply. So I apply it and now go to auto apply, which means any change from now on that I do here is directly live updated to this uh, property here. Yeah, so I set this offset back to zero. You can also have, of course, here a Y offset. Let's say Y offset 100. And yeah, now it is offset it by 100 in Y direction. Another thing that often gives a nice effect is a time offset. So a time offset of five means, for example, that this one is always five frames later than this one. Uh, let me just set here the RAM preview correctly and look at the RAM preview. You can see this one is moving and this one is also moving, but with a certain time delay. And of course, you can make this time delay also larger. Let's say time delay of 10 frames. And now uh, it is even more visible. Now this one is always just a bit later than this one. Um, let me reset this again. Another thing that you can do is that you can scale. Yeah? You can say, for example, okay, this layer should not move exactly as much as this one, but it should, for example, move twice as much. This means we set 200 and 200. And if you now look what happens, it seems to be quite strange. So where is our layer gun? I zoom out here a bit. And now you can see it indeed moves twice as much. Yeah, here this one is moving twice as much as this one, but the point is this: the point around which we scale uh, is the point zero zero. This means let me just have here another keyframe. So if we move this one to the point zero zero, which is here, the two are at the same position, and then if I go in any direction uh, like this, this one always goes twice as far. Let me just remove this keyframe here again. Now let's say, okay, the point at which both would should be equal sh is not the point zero, zero, but should rather be this point here, yeah, which is this one, the position of this layer. So we set the around v uh, uh, value around which it should scale to this one, 396 and 399, like this. And now you can see here they are perfectly identical. And now when the one starts moving, the other one starts moving twice as fast. Of course, we can also set this neutral point, so to speak, uh, where the two are uh, equal to the end. So this is 946, 399. And then you can see at the end of the fade, they are identical. Yeah. Uh, let's set this here to fit. Um, now you can see at the end, they are uh, identical, but they are moving here in. So this one is moving with twice the speed as this one. Yeah. So with these linking options, you can easily uh, create uh, different nice uh, effects without much hassle, and especially with saving a lot of keyframes. Yeah? So you have just two keyframes, and this one here 
follows automatically this one. This means if you need to adjust this later, let's say you say, oh, this animation should be a bit faster, yeah, no problem. You just update these two keyframes and this one um, updates automatically. So a great idea to use these linkings to speed up your workflow because the less keyframes you have to fiddle with, uh, the quicker you can perform any changes. Um, ah, one thing that you've seen in the preview also is probably something like we can of course also choose this middle value here as a neutral point. Yeah, let's say this is 640, uh, 684. And if you apply this, you can see here it's now identical and both in this direction and in this direction it is now moving twice as fast. Anyway, I hope you got some idea how to use these advanced options here. And again, remember all these linking options are not just available or specific to this simple link 2D, but work with any linking eye expressions or in fact with any eye expression where you link something here to some property.